what's up guys wanted to make a quick video for you today something i've been really wanting to do is uh make a quick video of my kayak setup so i don't have anything fancy but i think you know just for the working man just uh you know just uh a decent little kayak that gets the job done usually you know you get a few comments at the uh ramp that you know hey nice nice setup so uh this is kind of what i wanted to show you guys right now i've got it loaded up on my trailer here um just pulled it out of the water and uh like i said i thought this would be a perfect time just to show you the setup of it uh, if you have any questions just drop them in the comments i'll try to provide any links to any of my accessories or uh as well so i'm not sponsored by anybody you know that i have on this kayak as far as uh as the accessories uh you know just through my research and and the the type of fishing that i do which is a mixture of lake and river mostly river fishing which is uh the new river which uh you've seen a few videos before and you know i fish year round so i needed to you know i need something comfortable i need something that uh, that I could put a trolling motor on or that I could just float with the family. Uh, we do quite a few family floats in the summer. So um, Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys this if you have any questions just uh, just like I said drop them in the comments So here it is. It's loaded up on my own the water innovations trailer, which again I do have another little review of that as well um, So if you have any questions about that just go check out that video. Uh, it's been a fantastic toy hauler so it uh, it works great for four to five six kayaks um but you know it, it works wonderful when it's just mine or not just mine and the uh the wife's but here is my 20 i believe it's a 2021 or 2022 i can't remember uh feel free lure 11.5 uh this is the winter camo color so it's kind of a you know a light blue uh with the white and the black mixed in and I don't really do any tournament fishing with three kids and and everything. It's a little tough. I'd set it up to originally tournament fish and quickly found out that uh, I don't have the time. So, um, but I do have it ready to go. But if I ever needed to, um, I do have it registered here in North Carolina uh, because in North Carolina, if you have a trolling motor on any fishing vessel, it has to have numbers. So, uh, I'll start at the front here. So at the front, you know, nothing fancy. Like I said, just uh, I've got the Yak Attack, a few Yak Attack uh, Mighty Mounts for mounting. Uh, I've got the Ram Transducer Mount. That's just a stiff aluminum rod, more or less, that you can bend however you need it uh, to fit your kite. And it just articulates down whenever I need to deploy it. If not, I just keep it, you know, keep it up and we're golden so i get it in position and can lock it but when i'm here in the river and i don't need it again i can just pull it up or you know it doesn't have to sit right here but i can just pull it up if i need to um and then in the hatch here this is where i normally store uh dakota lithium 54 amp hour battery and it's just using one of the straps that come off the back of the kayak that i didn't utilize um, i actually mounted it to the back side of this little knob here the screw i took the screw out and and mounted it that way and it works great holding the battery it's not going anywhere and then you know i've just got this little atwood trolling motor um thing here that goes you know i've got the positive and the negative hooked up uh and i can like i said un undo this very easily and take my battery out to charge it uh one thing i've been meaning to do is store some like big velcro on the side of this and just attach it right there uh, that way i can pull it off whenever i don't need it because i don't always use the fish finder so you know that's normally all that's in the hatch that or a dry bag and the transducer wire was i think it's fell yeah just so much moisture that's up here but usually this transducer wire is, is is mounted right up there so that's that uh you know starting at the hatch coming back i've got the water snake t24 uh trolling motor and it's mounted in a yak gadget uh, pod mount for the feel free lure series so very easily to, to take out it's a very light motor i absolutely love it like i said it's uh you just can take it out extremely easy and i am trying to do this one-handed but that's it that's it's a wonderful thing if i'm if i don't need the trolling motor i put my pod back in here that the that the kayak comes with 
and it works fantastic. So again, just bear with me guys. I'm trying to do this one handed. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, the other thing I like about this little pod mount is you can see it has this little shelf that I end up using to hold some of my lures that I've cut off throughout the day. Um, and then again, I've just, you know, I spliced this into it. Just the little Atwood plug that just plugs right in there. And when it's, it said, and this thing works great, I can pull it up out of the way, just turn the motor. In order to get this to work though, I did, out of the box, I had to turn, take this screw out and turn this head 180 degrees so that whenever I deploy it, you know, it's just a matter of letting that go. And that way when it's, it's in the right position down there that the controls point towards me. So any of you ever considering getting the, the water snake, then you do, it's very easy. I didn't have a, really have a single problem with it. Um, like I said, just take that screw out and turn the head. You may have to fight the wires a little bit, but I really, I don't remember having much issue with it. All right, so going back, I did not use this today, but I did go ahead and throw it on here for the purpose of this is my hummingbird helix 7 mega side imaging gps uh, mega down imaging so um and again that's running off that seven amp hour to be truthful it probably actually needs to run off of a 10 amp hour or higher i have run this out before so uh let's see here we go let's change the speed here Let's see. There we go. Change the chart speed up. So it works. Like I said, I absolutely love this unit. I've got it on a ram mount mounted to my track there. Uh, I used to have this mounted on the pod that goes here. Uh, but once I got the trolling motor, I needed to move it off to the side. So just using some Yak Attack through holes and like I said, a ram articulating mount. I don't remember what size that was, guys. I know it's a one and a half inch balls though, for sure, right here. So, you know, and, and this thing works great. It's up out of my way. Uh, I can, you know, I'm right-handed, so I wanted it on the right side of the kayak so that I could easily access the buttons here. Um, and going back, I've got two of the uh, roto grips for the, my, my paddle. I love these, especially when I need to stand up. I'm tired of holding the, the, the paddle. You know, if I'm just, especially if I'm using the trolling motor, I just pop them in that, or I'll pop them in the side, pop the paddle in the side here, and just use my feet to steer. Uh, and just like uh, you've, if you're here, you're you know, you're probably looking at feel free kayaks. Then uh, you know you know about the gravity seat. It's it's a wonderful wonderful seat. You know you just be able to pull this up and down. You know you can have it all the way down, or you can have it all the way up. So like I said, that seat works great. Uh, you know, just in the sides I just keep you know some fishing gloves these if I ever catch some toothy critter or something I don't normally normally I just lip them or, or kayak flip them and then in the other pocket I just keep a pair of pliers uh, the my life jacket of choice is the NRS Chinook absolutely love this you know it holds everything I need normally uh, I've got the battery pack here, um, you know, some, the Gerber River Shorty knife that attaches nicely to it. So, you know, it's like I said, it's a little full. I'm not going to make this a, a Chinook review. I just, like I said, I wanted to show you guys the actual kayak and just start front, you know, from front to back. All right. So as I go back, um, like I said, I've already showed you guys the front, you know, like I said, starting, you know, at the front, you've got the, the transducer mount. The, the helix 7 i do have an anchor wizard I, I failed to mention that so i've mounted it just using the yak attack track adapters here and you know get it all nice and tight i mean it, occasionally it does loosen up you can see so occasionally i do have to tighten the screws down um but that's not you know that's not the anchor wizard that's just the track you know over time as you're cranking on that they do come loose and you know i'll tighten them up um, part of me has wanted to move it to the other side because I have so much down the right side, but I, in, in the kayak, I haven't really noticed it leaning one way or the other. It rides pretty well. Um, so going back, you know, I use the 
feel free yak bag um fantastic bag once you get it assembled it's a pain in the butt to assemble but once you get it this thing works fantastic holds quite a bit of gear as you can see so um and like i said you've seen the strap that was up front and so like i mentioned is i didn't there, there used to be a strap that was mounted here you know and then one on the other side that you could tighten down a crate or whatever with and i didn't like them so what i done with this in my previous kayak was um i mounted the little d-pads and i've got them at three corners i i was missing once so i didn't get one on that corner and i use these little 90s um clips cam clips here and like i said you can see how i've got it mounted and they just go right to this on four corners of this bag is these little d-rings so i can just attach it tighten it down and like i said once this thing's on i mean it's it's not it's not going anywhere so you can see how i've got it here um going back let me remove my catch board so my catch board is just tethered with a uh i, I want to say that's the catch tether as well and again i've just got it mounted there to that same d-pad right beside my uh, rod holder and i did move where it tethers instead of using there i actually drilled a hole right there in the corner and uh, that way it, you know i'm able to put this right across my lap no problem and i've got it with the catch keeper here and i designed and do sell these uh these little l brackets here that fit this catch keeper perfect and they're just mounted using the yak attack knobs here uh and some adapters up underneath because if you do have a feel free kayak nothing fits these tracks like from yak attack or scotty or anybody without using a yak attack adapter there okay so but this bracket works great you know i'm able to just take my left hand slide it right in here and it keeps it out of the way it is fantastic all right and going back further as uh, part of that uh, anchor wizard system uh, is I, you know the feel free just doesn't really have like the bonafides and other places a good flat mounting surfaces back here to put all kinds of stuff so i opted to design this little triangular mount um, it's quarter plate aluminum that i had cnc cut and uh you know I've, i also have these as well if anyone's interested just uh just let me know and the the, the shoot part of the of this attaches here and this works works great guys um and i've got it paired with a da bomb anchor um this you know this is a fantastic anchor especially for the river it doesn't catch up too much in the rocks and stuff because it is round but it does stop me it's 6.4 pounds i believe um so and then at the very end of it i do have the feel free beaver tail rudder and that's how i control my you know when i'm using the trolling motor uh that's how i control where i'm going but also if i'm just floating the river then it works fantastic as far as keeping you know tracking because the, the feel free does you know this lure does weave just a hair not much because it's a big heavy kayak but for the most part like if i'm going if i'm floating down the river it keeps my nose downstream with just a push of my feet uh whereas if you keep it up you know you're spinning around and the wind gets a hold of you the beaver tail works great for you know keeping your nose downstream or if i'm coming back upstream with the trolling motor it, that's how i steer and keep myself straight um so overall like i said I, I absolutely love this kayak i've wanted i had wanted a feel free kayak for since 2014 when i first seen them here in a local store um and then my first feel free kayak was actually a tandem that I only had for a few months uh and then the next one i got was the feel free mokin 12 and a half absolutely love that kayak i just needed something a little wider and more stable so i upgraded to the lure uh 11.5 thanks to carolina paddle sports um uh, here in north carolina and like i said they they got me this kayak they had it in stock uh and upgraded me here and absolutely it's just been wonderful for the past year year and a half however long it's been uh i think it's been about a year since i've owned this kayak now so uh like I said, that's my setup. It may not work for everybody, but like with, again, with my mixture of, of lake fishing and river fishing uh, and family, you know, family floating, um, this is the perfect setup. And, you know, at any point, I can take this off. I don't have to bring this. 
Um, I don't have to bring this. I don't have to bring this. Uh, and if I'm just family floating, I don't bring any of that except for I, I normally do bring my crate bag. I just don't have it chock full on family floats. So, you know, I can take all of that stuff off and be lightweight. Or, you know, I've had this thing just plumb crammed with everything, uh, you know, worms, worm bags under the seat, worm bag, you know, boxes in here. And so it can be lightweight and it can also be uh, a full, you know, tournament kayak rig. Uh, it's it's super stable platform. Um, I've only ever turned it over one time and that was because I was had the seat too high and I was in a rapid uh, and luckily it was a family float so I, I actually didn't really turn it over I bailed before uh, before I went over but overall this this kayak is wonderful to be able to stand out of to fish out of um, again it's I couldn't ask for a better kayak and and the, the this package as a whole here with the on the water innovations trailer just makes things super easy uh, to load unload you know you're able to just back this into the water you know if you've got your little safety rope up front you grab it and then you know, back it into the water here and let it float off pull it up to your ramp and no heavy lifting so uh, i highly recommend this combo if you're able to get one um it's like i said it's been wonderful for our family and um we absolutely love it so like i said that's just a little rundown of my 2021 feel free uh lure 11 and a half um if you have any questions again drop them in the comments and thank you guys for watching